In this video, I'll show you how to move apps or software to another drive on your computer. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Before we get any further, because we're copying of files and things like that, what I recommend doing is basically backing up or take, making a restore point of our computer or the hard drive. To do that, go and tap on search and just type in restore. And as you can see, then tap on create a restore point. Come to the bottom to where it says create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on. Tap on create like so. You can then go and name it. I'm just gonna go and put in the date like this and then go and tap on create. And as you can see, it's now creating your restore point. So wait for this to finish and then we can move on. The first thing we need to do is go and find the source or just where the app currently is, which you want to go and currently move. So usually, unless you put it elsewhere, it's going to be installed to your local disk so go and open up your file explorer and go and tap on this pc and then you'll see this device and drives page and go and tap on local disk like so and then it's either going to be in your program files or your program files x86 so you can check both of these so i'm going to go and double tap on it like so and as you can see we've got all these different folders and all these folders are different apps and in this case the app i want to go and move is called expressvpn it may be in my other folder so i'm going to go and check out my x86 folder and here it is so once you've gone and found it all you need to do is go and double click on it like so so you're inside of the folder then once you're inside of the folder the next thing you'll need to do is go into the description of this video and you need to go and look for something called command line or name it and it's going to look something like this it's going to go and have two different lines and these are two different lines which we can then go and execute uh, in our command prompt don't worry i'll show you everything so now you've got this open what we need to do is go to where it says robo copy and before and go and just double click on it so it's highlighted and just go and remove it like so so you should have these two sort of speech marks like so so come back to your file explorer and go and tap on this pc and we'll be taken back to this page here and then you can go and choose a drive where you want to go and put it so i'm going to go and put it in my new volume just here then what i'm going to do is go and create a new folder for this called apps so i'm going to right click here press on new type in type in folder and name this apps just like so and then what i'm going to do is go and double tap on it like so then what I need to do is then go and just copy the destination of this. So I'll tap on it again and then right click on it and press copy just like so. And then come back to that notepad and once again, paste it where it said after. So it should look something like this. And the, just the one thing we need to add is slash express VPN on this other one as well, uh, just so it keeps it all tidy. So go and highlight it like that, press copy and then put it after the apps or whatever your folder is called there. And so what you need to do is just go and put this source that we just went and put in into the before and then go and put the destination into the after. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do now. So literally just highlight it, right click on it and go and press copy and then highlight the before and go and paste it in just like so, press paste and then do the exact same thing. So I'll highlight this bit here, right click on it and press copy and then go and put it in the after as well. And that's it, we're now there. Now what we need to do is just go and open up command prompt. So come to the bottom of your computer and tap on search and type in CMD like so, and then right click on command prompt and just press run as administrator. You're going to go and get this Windows security pop-up, which unfortunately I can't go and recall, but you just need to go and tap on yes. Then what we need to do is come back to our notepad and just copy this first line here like so. So copy it like this and then right click on it and press copy. So just to quickly explain what this is, this first sort of execution line here, uh, this is basically copying all the information and the second one is just linking linking it up because you're going to go and have some shortcuts which still relate to the original destination. So this second command line is going to go and sort of create a redirect. So what you need to do is highlight this first one here and right click on it and press copy. And to go and paste in command prompt, all you need to do is press on the right click like so. And there we go. It's now going and copying everything just like that. And it's done it. If yours doesn't automatically start like mine did, then you may need to go and tap on the enter key on your keyboard. And so now what we need to do is go and run this second line here. So I'm gonna go and double tap on this and just highlight it all uh, just like this. Then right click on it and press copy. And then we can then go and create this redirection. Then right click on it just here. And you may need to go and press enter. And if you're gonna get this error here, then that's fine. Come back to your file explorer. And as you can see, we now have the ExpressVPN folder, which is fantastic, but we now need to go and delete it from the original source. So to do that, go and tap on this PC like so, and then go and tap on local disk and then go and find it again. So I think it was in the x86. Here it is, I can now go and press delete or right click on it and go and press delete because we've already gone and copied it, if that makes sense. If you go and get this pop up here, which is folder in use, then just make sure the application is fully closed. Uh, I just had to go and close it in my uh, task manager. Um, so yeah, then press try again and it then it should allow us to go and delete it just like so. 
Then what we can do is come back to our command prompt and go and copy uh, the link command again. So I'll right click on it and press copy. Then what I can do is go and paste it in like so, press enter and there we go. It's now gone and create this redirect. So when I go and search for uh, Express on my computer, it should still open up. And here it is, it's now gone and opened up. It just opened up on my other monitor. And that's it guys. If you found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.